life with breasts. So without them, I mean, personally, I just, I felt like I wouldn't feel whole. And see, I personally didn't feel I needed breasts to feel whole. I just didn't want more surgeries with more possible complications. And I didn't want anything artificial inside my body. I mean, were you ever worried about people staring at you? Well, I was, but you know, people don't really notice. What you um? What did did you do about about the about the nipples? Oh, I had them tattooed. Ah, uh, I didn't do nipples, but oh, she has the most gorgeous tattoo uh, across her chest. It's you should show them. Would you like to see? And I'm happy to show you my implants. Yeah. Uh, I think that would be very helpful. That's a... <clears throat> okay. Oh. I think it'd be very oh. awkward. Wow, that is so beautiful. What made you to decide to do a peacock? Peacock symbolize self-expression and confidence and immortality. And I guess I like being reminded that no matter what happens, life is eternal. Those look great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. They look, they look, they look good. I hope none of the kids walk in. Very... Do you want to feel them? Oh, I... <laughs> go ahead. You can give them a squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure. That's wow. Those yeah, right. those them. They 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 do feel really natural. That's... Lena, do you want to feel? I mean, you'll be touching them too. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do feel really really real. Oh, oh. god, kids. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, it's not. It's because it's, uh, it, it's um, a medical <laughs> thing for mom. I'm so this sorry. Is, this is Ellen, and uh, you know Karen from school. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> so I went online last night. Why wouldn't you want me to know that you were a foster kid too, Kelly? I didn't tell you I was a foster kid because I wasn't. I don't get it. I used to go to these fundraisers all the time, and I would tell Lizzie's story, and people would listen politely, but they were never moved by it until one day I told it as my own. So you lied. The story's not a lie. It happened. And when I made Lizzie's story my own, it not only opened people's hearts, but it opened their wallets. So that's why you need me or using me and my story to get money from people? Well, Callie, money's what gets things done. <laughs> Without money, there'd be no reform. I mean, you can say that I'm using you, but for good. And you're using me too. But how am I using you? Fost and found. You need me to help you expand it, get it out there, right? And you need me to get your friend Daphne a job. I mean, if it's that important to you, I can do it. Is she using this as a bargaining chip? Look, I was just really surprised by what Zoe told me, and I, I don't like surprises. Hey, look, if you're ever not feeling this anymore, then just be honest with me, okay? Because I'd rather be hurt than surprised. You take one of the two of us? Ready, Tasha? They smile. Got it. Listen, Tashi Bear. I'll see you soon, okay, baby? Thanks for the pictures. You know, in case. Hey, you can't think like that. I have to. If the judge lets Tasha's foster parents adopt her, it's not like they're gonna give me a visitation. Okay, well, that's not gonna happen, because I got you a job. What? Where? With Justina. It's um, full time, 800 bucks a week, and like health oh my insurance. God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, thank you. Thank you. I'm happy for Daphne, but I'm bad for Callie because she's sticking with Justina because of hey. this. And Justina's a bitch for just, um, using um, this right as a way to I, keep I can, I can her under that. her thumb. In fact, I'm pretty sure you don't even like me, so why are you doing this? Why, why, why would you think I don't like you? Because you don't think anything good came from you and Anna. I mean, that's what you said yesterday, right? No, that's not... I, I didn't mean it like that. Look, I'm not good at this. I'm here because I can't be your dad, but I, I want to get to know you. And, I, and I'm, I'm probably going to say and do the wrong thing a lot, 
You just gotta tell me. You can't get all pent up inside. Hey, um, so I talked to Zoe and uh, I guess Wyatt told Talia and Talia told her and um, anyway, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, but thanks. And we'll never need their rules to guide the way. Love will light the day. Oh, boy. I hope they're supposed to kiss in that part. That was it. I, I finally believed you guys were desperately in love. That was. Let's do it again. Yeah? Oh, boy. How's the set building going? Uh, you know, it's so oh, a lot to do. Oh, she cut her the hair. short. Yeah. She looks cute. <clears throat> I decided to get the implant. <laughs> do you hate it? Oh my god, I love it. It's so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> what inspired this change? Look at you. I think it's my own version of, of, of Ellen's tattoo. The peacock, I think it's, you know, my my symbol of, of confidence. I'm always wanting to cut my hair really short. Uh, well, why haven't you done it until now? Because I was afraid I was going to look like a dyke. I hate that I have my own internalized homophobia, but um, just really been struggling, really been struggling with, with the way people are going to look at me without breasts. As if I, uh, as if I'm somehow less of a woman, less, less feminine. But you know what? Breasts and long hair do not make me a woman. And what the hell do I care if people think that I'm butch because they have uh, an idea of what a woman's supposed to look like. I just, I just, I just want to look the way I want to look. And letting go, letting go of that fear, I guess, just, I've never felt more feminine. And I'm gonna get implants because I, I like having boobs, not because I'm not me without them. <laughs> and FYI, um, <clears throat> this hair is getting me a little. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a little time before dinner, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Come. Oh, I'm the first woman. <laughs> really hope to see you opening night. I'm sorry, are you not allowed to? No, uh, no, I, I could. There'd be enough adults there, but yeah, I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. So. Like who? Anna and her parents. Well, they did write letters for you. So did you. Thank you for that. I'd really like you to come. I mean, if you want to. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Mom. Your grandmother, your biological grandmother. She had a beautiful voice, too. Really? Yeah. What's going on? Oh, I Police. felt like Can something bad was going to happen. We got a silent alarm tripped. Oh, God. Uh, oh. I forgot. Uh, I, I actually have the code. It's, it's uh, 7879. It's OK. M my boyfriend's dad owns this place. We're rehearsing for a play. Still going to need to see some IDs. Oh, shit. Is that really necessary? Does Court have a baby? What makes you say that? Her keychain. It had one of those card things for a, for a baby store. Yes, she has a, a two-year-old. Do moms know? No, and I'd like to keep it that way. OK, so what, are you going to be like the, the stepdad or something? Uh, no. But you know what? This, this isn't any of your business. OK, sorry. I just um, didn't want you to do something else you were going to regret, so. Mm. Well, what does that mean? I heard what you told Mariana last night about how you wish you could take it back. I wasn't talking about you. Yeah, right. Is it Danny, maybe? I was talking about Danny. Danny? Dad I didn't remember that nobody else knew she, about that. She came by the apartment, and I was there. Um, I had had a few beers, and I had sex with her. Brandon, that wasn't sex. She took advantage of you. It's like lame. It's rape. No, statutory rape. It's not the same, OK? I never said no. It was still wrong. She was older, and you had been drinking. Does anyone know? 
moms and, and my dad. For a really long time, I, I thought what happened with Liam was my fault too. I felt like ashamed and ugly. <laughs> it's not how we should feel, it's how they should. Like it wasn't until you that I could be with someone the way you're supposed to without the, the shame and the guilt, at least in the moment. I don't want to regret that. I don't. I don't regret it. At all. Mr. Duncroft, you're under arrest for being in proximity to an unaccompanied minor. Uh, no, 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 you, you can't. He, he didn't do anything. I'm his daughter. I'm going to have to ask you to take a step Mariana, back, miss. Okay. No, it's not okay. My mom's a cop. Step, step out of closer. You can now. call her. No, you can't arrest him. He doesn't Mariana, have calm wrong. down. I'll be okay. Just call your mom. Well, that sucks. That sucks. But in that moment when Mariana was talking to him, I was like, I for some reason, I was like getting this really bad feeling like something horrible is about to happen. <laughs> um, and I didn't have any idea what, but yeah, I felt something bad and it bad, bad happened. Um, and if this ruins his chances of getting off the registry, Mariana's probably going to blame herself. And it's just, uh, I don't know. Just It's just a bad situation. Um, I'm having a feeling that Callie was having second thoughts about working with Justina, finding out that Justina lied. Like she used somebody else's story. Um, so that people would give her money. And I think Callie didn't like that at all. And she was feeling like Justina was doing the same thing to her, um, which she is. But, you know, and Justina's like, well, you're using me too. You know, you need me to fund your uh, Fost and Found and to get the name out there and everything. But, you know, Justina's the one that came to her. It's not like Callie sought her out, so... Not quite sure it's the same thing, but whatever. Um, but then she threw in, you know, you need your friend Daphne. You need her to find a job, and I can do that. So it's like she was using that to keep Callie in line with her plans, um, which Callie did. And Daphne was very grateful and just, I want Daphne to be happy. I want her to get her daughter back. Um, I just felt... I just, the situations just suck. Um, the thing with uh, Steph and Lena and talking to those women, one who, both who have had the, had uh, their breasts removed because of cancer, um, one opted to get implants, the other decided not to, and um, just getting both points of view. <laughs> and it was like, I actually started to get like really embarrassed. Like I started to like get hot. Like when I get embarrassed, you know, I heat up, like my face starts to get hot from embarrassment. And this is, and I wasn't even me in the situation, but um, for some reason it, it did that to me um, when they took off their shirts. Cause I was just like so concerned that people were going to walk in and see that going on and, be like, what the heck is going on in the house? <laughs> um, and I'm sure that, you know, Steph and Lena were slightly uncomfortable with women that they don't even know really taking their clothes off to show them their breast or their tattoo. Um, but yeah, anyway, it was, it was pretty funny. Um, when Jesus walked in, um, it was funny even before that for me. Uh, but yeah, so in the end, Steph decided to get the implants because she likes having breasts and, uh, she cut her hair off. So I thought she looked adorable. Um, I think it really suited, suited her. So, um, I thought just, she looked great and she was feeling confident and feeling beautiful again. And she hasn't been feeling that way since the surgery and uh yeah it was just really great 
Uh, also, Mariana again. And Matt. I had a moment uh, when they were singing their songs. Um, and then they kissed. I'm just glad <laughs> that that kiss was part of the scene. Because, yeah, it still was bad because you know they were feeling something for each other again. Um, but it would have been really bad if there was no kiss there and be like, what the hell are y'all doing? Uh, so, but I feel bad for Nick. Um, if Mariana and Matt decide to get back together, I don't feel bad for Zoe. She was being a bitch. Um, but in fairness, Mariana's also been sort of bitchy towards Zoe, so I'm going to let it go, but I still don't feel sorry for her if she gets her heart broken. <laughs> um, well, actually, I doubt she's going to get her heart broken. I don't think she loves Matt. I think she's just with Matt for the moment. Um, but to be fair, I also don't know Zoe. We don't know anything about her except that she can sing. That's it. Uh, so, yeah, but I think that there's going to be some issues um with relationships very soon there's only two more episodes left of the season so i'm almost done with season three uh i think that's a, all there is to talk about in this episode i believe um i enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please give this video a like if you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to please leave that down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye